And the storms were so serious, they actually blew the roof off a fire station at Willow Run Airport. That's just some of the damage Victor Williams saw today. He's live in Ypsilanti Township with more. Victor. Yeah, guys, we're over here on Lake Drive. Take a look right over here behind my back. You see a lot of the branches down, and that seems to be what we're seeing on the entire street. If you look down there, you can see as far as you go down there, the fire trucks and other people coming out. But take a look over to the right, and you notice this is a tree that has fallen right on someone's home. But from what viewers have been sending us in the past few hours, the damage is all over Metro Detroit from Washtenaw to northern Oakland County and Macomb. The severe storms are rolling out, but now comes the cleanup. Check out this home surveillance video of a lightning strike in Waterford that almost hit a house. <laughs> Scary moments in Belleville when folks at a farmer's market got caught during the height of a storm. You can see people running for cover and sheltering in place. Neighbors in Ypsilanti Township tell us after it felt like a tornado came through. The next thing you know, it started raining and all the windows started shaking. And then happened just in the blink of an eye. The trees down everywhere. We come outside, we started running around all the trailers, making sure people was okay. At nearby Willow Run Airport, the storm caused the roof to come flying off of an old fire station. Thankfully, no one was hurt. The aftermath has DTE crews busy with more than 100,000 customers without power. That's just a sample of the downed wires that our crews are seeing on Detroit's west side. And I've just checked with DTE, more than 300 crew members are out there responding to calls right now. So we'll keep you posted on those outages on our website. Click on Detroit.com. In the meantime, we are live in Ypsilanti Township, Victor Williams, Local 4.